Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video tutorial we will learn how to set up Eclipse ID per PHP. So let's start. So first I'll go to this Chrome and here I will search for uh, Eclipse IDE and I will click on this first link and here I will go to this download button and click on this and now go down here click on this and finally when you click on this download it will start downloading Eclipse. So now it has started downloading Eclipse and it will take some time but I will cancel it because I've already downloaded it so I'll cancel this and now I'll go here and so now I'll go to the downloads folder and here if you, you can see it here Eclipse so I'll double click on it to open the installer so now the installer is open so I'll go down and here you can see Eclipse ID EPOP HP developer so I'll click on this and now we can see here the install button it will create a desktop shortcut and it will install it in this part so I'll click on this install it will take some time to install Eclipse so now Eclipse is installed so I'll click on this launch to launch Eclipse. I'll click here launch. So to run a PHP program in Eclipse we need Zem server to be installed on Windows as I have already installed Zem server on my Windows. If you do not know how to install Zem server the link to the video will be in the description. So let me show you Zem server. So if I go to this uh, explorer and if I go to C you can see this Zem here and if I search here for Zem control panel so you can see it here. We will start Apache as well as MySQL. MySQL is needed when we want to connect to my SQL database now I'll go to Eclipse and I'll close this welcome page and I will go to this file and new PHP project and I will name my PHP project test PHP I'll control A this and control C this because we need this I'll create the project in Zem htdocs folder so I'll select this browse and now go to the C Zem now select htdocs and select folder now put a backslash here and control and we paste the project name here now now we will click on finish to create the project. So now the project is created as you can see here. I'll maximize Eclipse. Now I'll right click on this and new new PHP file and here I will name this index dot php and hit finish now i'll write some php code here so i'll close this php tag and now inside this so i'll write here echo then single quotes single quote and then put semicolon and i'll use hello to everyone from php and now i'll control s it now i'll right click on this file and i'll come to this run run as and we will run as php application as it is showing this error failed to launch php server i'll click this ok so to fix this issue go to run run configuration and click on this new i have already created this zam click on this new and close this because this will not work if i click on this it will not work so close this then it will start working so i'll click on this generic php uh, server and click next and here give it a name and this is the URL for our local host. Click on this finish so it will create a server for you. So I'll cancel this because I've already created so I'll right click here and run as PHP web application and as you can see here the URL is shown here and if I click OK so now you can see that Vera is launched which is my default browser and hello to everyone from PHP is uh, printed on this browser. So I think that's all for today. I hope you like the video. If you like the video please like subscribe and comment. Thank you.